420. Guess what? Time for another group one. And again, RPR's form suggests it's going to be a matchup between Phoenix of Spain and Too Darn Hot. Which way are we going to sway? Well, in Gosden we trust, I think, too darn hot. Gosden came out last week in the paper and said, this is the worst managed horse of the year. Some statement for the master trainer. Of course, they rushed him, didn't they, into the dante. Whether he stayed or not, it wasn't his true running. He hung a little bit. Then at nine days later, he went to the Cara and he couldn't quite get on the back of Phoenix of Spain. This time, everything's gone right at home. He should have his ground. He's got the draw, which Phoenix of Spain doesn't have. In stall seven. And how will he take this quick turnaround? Second run, you're never quite sure. Too darn hot to get the money. So St. James's Palace stakes, of course, so don't just think by the betting. It's a two-horse race. Gosden also has King of Comedy. His form at Sandown last time, he whizzed home. That was a really strong race. A Heron stakes, that was, of course, used for springboard success here. It's just he's got, he's got to be below too darn hot. The French have got a decent record in this, and Shaman comes over, having finished second in their equivalent of our guineas behind Persian King. That was a really, really good run. He'll go on any ground you like, and he's tough. 10 to 1, fair each way value. If you want something at a real flyer, Fox Champion. Well, we don't know how good he is. Sylvester Sousa gets his chance to get another Group 1 under the board. He could go well at a big price. It's not a crazy thought, but none of them have the class of too darn hot. He'll get the money.